happen. But, uh, yeah. you know, I just wanted to say, uh, hey, if, if, if Ventura gets his way or at some point and gets me fired and everything, hey. Wait, uh, what? I just want to let you know that, uh, yeah, they, they, yeah, it was it was pretty bad. Wait, I don't understand. You're going to have to. Oh, sorry. I should probably start from there. So when I called you uh, last week, uh, there was an incident where um, I let a potential suspect go because everything at the time, because it was, it was it stemmed from a Hades SOB gang shooting for context. And uh, the one person that got brought to me, uh, they, I was told that they were GSR negative. They didn't have a weapon. There were no casings around them. And it seemed like it was more likely than not that uh, they weren't involved. It was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh, we basically went through all the steps. I didn't feel like I had the uh, RS to build in the PC to say that he was involved. So I didn't bother with uh, taking him to the uh, PD because I didn't Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I'm not an SOP machine. I, I, uh, I at least try to put good faith in people. But, uh, yeah, Ventura wasn't happy about that. Um, Why? Let him go. Hold on. You let a individual go? Just a individual, not not all of was them. Was he just GSR positive? He was negative, no weapon, only knuckle dusters. We came and he wanted you to do what? Uh, well, he was pissed I didn't take him to MRPD and uh, take his fingerprint. Even Why? Everything what that, would you detain I, him on? Uh, besides the fact that he was is wearing Ventura red. stupid? Oh, uh, he said. Well, the SOP said you need to take him to MRPD and. Uh, so uh, SOPs don't trump law. Does he understand this? Maybe he's got his fucking dick so far up uh, his own fucking ass that he he actually. Oh my lord, that actually makes my brain hurt. Yeah. Well, somehow, you have to understand way. that Ventura is actually a genuinely dumb person um this is an individual that like didn't understand the concept that i listen look i'm not gonna get into it uh ventura yeah. is actually there there's people that are stupid and then there's people that are genuinely uh do not like have any semblance of common sense and the ability to like i don't know use um like deductive reasoning uh yeah. what if you as a law enforcement officer right are unable to articulate your reason for detainment and arrest which is what an arrest is when you bring someone in, put someone move someone to mission row in other words you need to be able to articulate what that arrestable offense was um you would now have violated the right so you're gonna like what risk oh, violating yeah. their rights the over over like a hunch like what yeah. the fuck yeah because uh, you're point, not they, gonna they get in they... trouble listen I, I i wouldn't worry about it uh the thing well, is luckily uh, we have people there's more to it okay so because i didn't take the time to take an mrp and get him fingerprinted um he got mad about it Somehow, and he went to the marshals uh that's how that's how the story ended yeah but, marshals uh, in, can, in the, listen, in, marshals in, in to between? my fucking dick. They're not going to have that kind of authority soon enough. And quite frankly, if anything, like, what are they going to do? Like, force uh, a firing? Like, right now, there's a claim that they can fire in higher, but that shit's changing real quick. Um, Listen, <laughs> I, you're, I'm getting, like, really fucking pissed right now just even hearing yeah. this because well, he went hearing, my back hearing and, that uh, another law, like, someone's getting in trouble for, like, using their brain is like and and not screwing someone over just off a hunch is is like really frustrating this is yeah. why some of these people should not be able to operate down in los santos county like genuinely well after that he he literally did i'm pretty sure he was the one that did an audit on me and basically found 10 reports or i either didn't click process or i didn't have something in there ha! i basically made an entire document and then uh from what other people told me and how what? other people have seen it Wait, uh, shift three, shift three had a lot to say, and this incident happened right before shift three started. Are you a so, shift three officer? Uh, no, I'm a shift two officer, but there were, they made a lot of recommendations, and I'm assuming he talked. Listen, to Listen, this guy he, is literally in a romantic relationship with somebody I'm that kills kills cop cops as a part of their like living. Yeah. So I don't know what sort of like subjective morality he prescribes to but quite frankly i'm not too worried 
you shouldn't be yeah. too worried because luckily the vast majority of law enforcement aren't brain damaged so thankfully my high command shift one yeah. uh command and well except for one person uh their name starts with a v and rhymes with it being, i assume uh and then all of shift two are pretty supportive of me so um, uh, can i'm not I, too worried about is it is there anything I, else that i'm missing here like i don't what was his uh, argument well, so like does he still have an argument about like it's, it's only because you know not following sops uh, that's one of the daps i got for for not following sops okay um, he somehow identified the person as Aches perez who was a hades member I just don't know how he did okay, it. Okay, well, so present. I'm going to throw uh, you something um, that if this is a... Okay, so he looked up your reports. Did he? What did he find? That you didn't hit process? Uh, things like I didn't hit process. I don't have a stain, statement for some of them. And then, like, uh, he just he just went through oh like, my a, a, month's God. Of, a month's range of reports. I mean, if he wants so, to play that... Sorry, go ahead. He, well, the thing is, he also... Uh, pushed it. I'm assuming you talked to some shift three about it because shift three. Oh had some my god, uh, bro! What the him. fuck? I think Den said I was one dap away from getting fired, and I have had zero HR issues the entire time I've been with the force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then by the time I talked to Peters, which was in the middle of shift one, about 12 hours after the incident, um, I mean between me and you, um, you know, so, some people from above the departments asked if I was fired yet. Listen, shift those people. Because you shift two took hasn't even is... uh, hasn't even happened yet. I didn't get to talk to my own command yet, and they were asking if I was fired. You took actions in good faith, which you're able to articulate clearly why, because you just did, and because you did this, which he believes is a violation of your SOPs. Uh, he maliciously went through past reports, nitpicking to find things that you may have messed up, which paperwork mistakes happen from time to time. It's just the nature of the job. Well, plus, with the MDT being uh, broken, and we were understaffed because. We're gonna stay up in the north. And then he went to command outside your shift about it? Uh, yeah, he wrote up the entire thing, and then I'm pretty sure he talked to shift three about it because, again, from what I was told from a shift one command who saw it, uh, they were very opinionated with the recommendations that they had. Ventura uh, is in a romantic relationship with a criminal. Um, do you believe that it is possible that he may be doing this to the benefit of his girlfriend or sorry his fiance uh no is it possible I know who they are. Uh, mm, no i think this is just man me. you are so much better than ventura it's crazy i mean if anything what ventura did is not benefit the criminals because he's trying to violate one's rights like yeah. allegedly you know yeah, <laughs> but that's still Ma's actually a good. good Ma's faith. actually a good. And then he maliciously uh, so you know how many people would have said yes? Your uh -huh. command is a bit. Yeah, I yeah. didn't even get to talk to Bradford yet, and there's barely halfway shift one. People are asking if I was fired yet. I'm just making up a legal um, argument. Yeah, Mr. Mayor, I think you can assume who uh, from the top who would ask that type of question. The marshal, right? Uh, the top top. Angel of oh, that. Hey, you said it. Uh, anyway, no so, um... shot. Yo, fucking yikes, bro. Like, hey. listen, look, here's the thing, right? Um, there's a lot of people that have been bitch slapped down already. And the, the fact of the matter is people got to, you know, worry about their fucking glass houses because that shit is currently shattered, damaged and about to fall the fucking. So um, well, worrying somebody... about a officer like over this shit and look can, okay let me point some things out right let's let's talk about some facts all right um there is a lot of um penal codes that are not attached to legislation none of those things have been worked on it's taken forever for judges to come into place ventura all he does is bitch and hang out with the fucking saints all right these people do not have any goddamn leg to stand on and for them to exert their energy in order to big dick an officer in a department over god knows what kind of like napoleonic uh like uh like complex like is not the move because all that's gonna do is make it that much easier to get them in trouble um fact of the matter is that they're not gonna be able to do shit and when it doesn't happen they can only be mad 
because their only other recourse is to try to then press the blame up to the top of the PD, which is going to make them big, make a even bigger hole. Um, can I cite, for example, uh, currently there is a case against Pred in which only four people have put in their statements. So if that dumb fuck wants to complain about firing someone for not putting in statements, maybe that dumb fuck should actually put their statement in in what would be the biggest case in the last nine months it, that is currently happening in Los Santos. And maybe that dumb fuck should, I don't know, have her pretend offices, all right? Like actually do their job, like write statements, do their foyers instead of flying goddamn drones around. Don't worry about it, Ma. I think you're, you're dooming a little bit too much. I'm not dooming too much, you know. I, I know I got my support, but, you know, I'm just saying, uh, uh, just in case if for some whatever reason he tries to dab me into the Shadow Realm, uh, hey, if you got like a job for a security guard or something like that, let me know. Because, uh, I'm that's fucking job, dooming yeah. you're dooming oh. again is that is that dooming? that I'm, is dooming I'm, you're like oh my god you're already you're already acting like you lost your job it, I'm, I'm just do you not sure you do you not believe that your command is going to have your back over something that like okay demonstratively you not it, w w okay let me ask you something was your report foiled? yes or no no they never asked me to finish it okay so what the fuck is the problem like I, it's it's i as a lawyer know that it's very normal that's why there was a 72 hours baked into the foia because when bailey and myself worked on the foia legislation before it got <clears throat> uh patched right he argued for 72 hours because it is common practice for cops not to put their statements in and those 72 hours are to give them a window to put their statements into the document. So I don't really understand what the problem here is. Especially if this was during a period where you said the MDT was acting up, like that's an issue outside your or anyone's control. And isn't his first recourse to be like, hey, Ma, you need to start working on this? Why is this first thing to go crying to fucking mama, mama fucking snake? Well, this is why I told Chief Moss, I was like, I'm willing to take a bullet for anybody out on duty, but he doesn't even bother. He's not even willing to have a conversation with me. So, kind of yeah, he's got other motivations. You know what I mean? Yeah. He got us very little respect throughout the, uh, you know, police department. So maybe he's trying to, you know, get some, uh, I don't know. Maybe he's looking for like new opportunities. I, I don't know. It, the whole thing is smells like ass, right? And uh, like I said, I wouldn't worry about it because at the end of the day, Ma, listen, people know these things and they know it's fucking nasty. You know what I mean? It's not. It's uh, you know, don't uh, don't don't sweat it. All right. Yeah, yes, people can smell bullshit. Um, you know, do the marshals currently have the power to fire people if they want to? They gave themselves that power after, um. I know it's Ellis. like being contested, but like this moment, if they really wanted to, could they? In theory, and then they're going to get fucked if they do. So, Trust me but when here's I the say, thing is, even if that hmm. happens, what's yeah. to stop the PD from hiring you right back, right? That is true. <laughs> like um, the marshals oh, can fire you and then the PD can hire they, you right back. And then if the marshals try and fire you again, then it's just malicious at that point I, because they already gave you the disciplinary action for which you were fired for. So, oh, you mean like 30 days down the line? Yeah, it's, um, I mean. Like that's a worst case scenario, I, right? I want to I wanna highlight something here, just uh, how ridiculous this is. And and I, and I and this is my way of saying you're right. They're uh, um, O'Hara or Maeve. Mm -hmm. Do you like Maeve or Miss O'Hara? Which one? Either is fine. Maeve? All right. It's fine. They, um, you have to understand, I was told by them to hire Conan Clarkson for the memes, right? So it's like wavering shit, right? Um, so it, it's kind of like, and they they hired, speechless. they hired, and I like DJ, right? So this is no like slight towards her, but Maeve used to sell drugs for BBMC and kill cops, and she became a marshal. So like, wait, who? Uh, mate, um, DJ. Oh, oh yeah, you said my name. I was like, no, I didn't. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I meant DJ. 
<laughs> hey, he's good. Um, he's good. So like, there's like, there's not like it's kind of weird. Like, and this is what I why I say it's like hyper subjective morality. It's that you have to understand that some people literally have no principles that they base their life on. And when you don't have principles, right? You have nothing to fall back on and that's why everything just seems ridiculous. So, yeah, like um yeah, don't 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 sweat it too much, all right? Um yes, you'll sir. be fine. Uh but I have you shared these concerns with your command in high command? Uh, yeah, I mean, th they had to talk to me about it because of the, the master report that, you know, of all the incidents and everything. Yeah. I told him what had happened. Um, and then I, that like I said, I told Moss, why I told you, like, it's gone to the point where, like, you know, this guy, I would take a bullet for Do this you want to file a lawsuit? Mm. You let me know if you do. Let me ponder on that. Okay. But, um... We'll see. I care more about uh, making my shift better with the new recruits. So I'll let things slide. And hey, if he calls for 78s, I, I, I got to sign off. I, I got pizza in the oven. So if you, uh, anyways, um, well, I appreciate it, Mr. Mayor. I'm going to, I'm going to relax for a bit then. All right. Uh, All right, brother. You guys have a good one. You take Thanks care. Time. Talk soon.